never done this before. <laughs> See, look at that. Look at how friendly. <laughs> this is Aubrey. And you might be wondering, why is Aubrey on my shoulder right now? If you're like us and it's chicken season around your property, today's video is gonna go over some of the top things to consider when buying a chicken. Aubrey here is a black copper moran and she is super friendly, super fun. I don't really know what she's doing right now, so hopefully this is a good shot. <laughs> But she is our favorite chicken that we have here on the homestead. She produces these deep, dark brown eggs, and she's clearly one of the most friendly chickens. Let's see if I can get her up here. There's really three things to consider when looking to buy chickens. The first thing to consider when buying a chicken, and this is probably the reason that most people get chickens, is for eggs. Aubrey, our black copper moran, lays these dark, beautiful eggs, but this is actually light for what a black copper moran can lay. When talking about numbers, a chicken can on average lay anywhere from 250 to 300 eggs a year. 300 plus would be a great layer, 250 to 300 would be a good layer, and anything below 200 would be average. There's some chickens all the way down to silkies that lay less than 100 eggs a year. Now, of course, too, there's a lot of contributing factors into how many eggs a chicken can lay in a year, weather, their food, how much sun they get in a day. But when considering how many chickens to get, consider how many eggs do you want to get in a given day. Some of the top layers are white leghorns, Rhode Island reds, and Americanas, but there's over 200 different varieties of chickens, so I'm sure you can find one that you like. The next thing to consider if you're getting chickens is if you're gonna use them for meat. Now we currently don't use any for meat, though our roosters are walking a thin line, but there's a ton of different meat varieties out there and the Cornish Cross is probably one of the most common. Anything with the word broiler in the name, those are gonna be your meat chickens. And these chickens grow much larger and they grow much faster and they are bred for the purpose of harvesting and for the purpose of eating. You can get dual purpose birds, which means that they are both good egg layers and good meat birds. But if your sole purpose is to go for meat, definitely go for one of the broilers or Cornish cross or anything that's going to be a bigger chicken. And the last thing to consider when you are looking to buy chickens is companionship. Chances are when you buy a chicken, you probably don't want one that's gonna be a jerk, one that's going to attack you anytime you try to feed it or grab eggs. So breeds that are more docile, as we could say, are gonna be ones that are gonna be a lot more fun to have around. So the king, I think, of friendly chickens has gotta be the silkies. They're cute, fluffy, little cotton ball looking things. And though they don't lay a lot of eggs, though they're really, really small, so they're definitely not meat birds, they are some of the most friendly, some of the most entertaining chickens that you could add to your flock. This one right here, though we did not get her for companionship per se, she's turned out to be the friendliest, nicest chicken that we've ever had. You can go up, you can pet her, you can look at her weird. So if you're looking for a friendly, fun chicken, Black Copper Moran, give it a shot. This video is like an endorsement for Black Copper Morans, which was not the purpose at all. Other things to consider when you're buying chickens are where you live, the temperature, how much space you have. There's a lot that goes into chicken buying. I'll just sum it up with that. But if you're able to nail down the maybe two reasons, the top two reasons why you want a chicken and for what purpose, that's gonna help you in your selection with chickens. We've had a lot of different varieties. We haven't really had any varieties that we haven't liked. It really all comes down to personal preference. As boring of an answer as that is, you can find a chicken for every need.